What's going on YouTube? Geosna right here. Today we have an update to the definitely not a jailbreak tool jailbreak, which is a jailbreak despite its name, and it does support iOS 16. This jailbreak has received an update, we're going to get into it in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Rayboot, which allows you to repair a bootlooping iOS device, or a device that is no longer powering on, it's a software issue, for example it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, black screen, blue screen, failed update and stuff like that. You can one click iOS upgrade or downgrade and also one click reset. Definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is also available for both Windows and Mac OS and it does support iOS 17. So the definitely not a jailbreak tool spelled like this has been updated and despite its name it is a jailbreak tool for iOS 16.0 up to 16.6.1. A brand new update is now out the version 1.0.1 which fixed two important things. This is quite a major update because it fixed a uh, jailbreak D crash, jailbreak D standing for jailbreak diamond which does several jailbreak related features and then we have the fixed problem about CTUID call which is used to get root and stuff like that and uh, these are all important things because without these the jailbreak does not work fine so I would definitely advise you to go ahead and update to version 1.0.1 as fast as you can. It is available in IPA format over here so you can sideload it with sideloadly or alt store or you can install it with troll store if that is the case for you and you should know that this is an ARM64 devices jailbreak so this does support only the ARM64 devices being A11, A10, so iPhone 10, iPhone 8, 8 plus, 7, 7 plus those should be supported on iOS 16.0 all the way up to 16.6.1 if you have a newer device like an iPhone 10s and Max 10R 11 12 13 14 those are not supported by this tool this seems to also be based on KFD an exploit that was released a while ago so yeah definitely go ahead update your tool it does support a wide range of iOS 16 versions thank you for watching I am GS Snow till the next time peace out